College football playoff predictions after week 12. Brought to you by winningcureseverything.com and tunicatravel.com. Tunica, Mississippi is the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six awesome sports books down there. All the information on all of them is over at tunicatravel.com. Let's jump into this thing. We're going to make this one a shorter video today. Um, for those that have not seen the other videos, this is my father. Chris is in Disney World this week. So he will be chiming in with his picks and whatnot. We'll, uh, we'll be tossing those, splicing them into our picks uh, video. And uh, Lee will be here for the picks as well as the previews later on in the week. So um, let's go ahead and jump in. Did you do a five and six for your playoff predictions? I did not bring a five and six. I don't think it necessarily matters. because it, And Chris always does this, right? I bring a five and six because I want to know like who is the closest to it. And now for those that have not seen our playoff predictions before, this is what we believe will happen on Selection Sunday. This is not what the playoff should be if it ended today. This is what we think it will be at the end of the season. Now, Chris always says five and six don't matter. They got left out. They're losers. Who cares? And I say, yeah, but like if you got a five and six, then you understand where we were to get to this point right so my five and six number six i've got ucf because i think that they will move them up just to kind of get them to shut up like they won't let them in the playoff but they'll rank them higher to show well we respect y'all because you know they're not going to go undefeated again next year and if you just keep playing <laughs> if you just keep going just make sure you schedule that game right like just That's fine. you know did you see that alabama now, Alabama was never reached out to about it, but the Camping World Classic reached out to UCF just to kind of gauge their interest on, hey, would y'all want to replace Louisville and y'all play against Alabama? That would have been the highest rated game maybe of the season. Yes. It, it would have been, been insane. Uh, and instead, we get a 2-8 a and eight Bobby Petrino-led team uh, <laughs> that just oh, gets slaughtered. Disaster. That turned out to Oh, be. man. Um, yeah, that was bad. So, UCF at number six, I've got Washington State number five. Now, obviously, I believe there's going to be some chaos. Sounds like it. Yeah. Um, let's start off with your number four. Who have you got number four? I believe in much more chaos. Oh, really? I've got UCF at number four. Now, is this because you, as an Alabama fan, want to play UCF? <laughs> or, or is this, like, an actual... This is an actual prediction of what's going to go on. I've got a suspicion that Washington State doesn't make it out of next week. I mean, that's that's not crazy because they haven't beaten Washington since Leach got there. So In a long time. Yeah. I've got Clemson at three. Okay, it... You know what? Let's go through our four, and then I want I want us to break down our, our scenarios. Okay. Um, my four is Ohio State. Okay. Then I've got Notre Dame three, Clemson two, Alabama one. Last week I had Georgia in that top four because I thought Tua was done. I thought he was done, and, and Jalen had not shown any signs of being any better. And not, not that, like, it, it it would not be like uh, Jalen's just not good, even if he was healthy. Like Jalen was not healthy, yes, and he was in a walking boot and whatnot. I didn't think Alabama with Mac Jones <laughs> or or a fifty percent to a Tonga Valoa would be able to beat Georgia in the SEC championship game. However, yesterday Tua playing without the knee brace on looks a lot healthier. His throws were more accurate. He's not. He wasn't overthrowing stuff. He could put pressure on that right knee. Like, he looked better. And if he is healthy, I think they can overcome some flaws in the defense if Thompson is out, if Harris is out, et cetera. I think that team rallies around that kid. So I think Alabama is, is back in at number one for me, at Clemson at two, Notre Dame three, Ohio State four. What do you have at one and two? I've got Alabama at one and Notre Dame at two. Okay. Using the logic that we have used, Notre Dame's wins are just better. Yeah. Even if Clemson runs the table. 
and they have the 13th data point, and it they, doesn't matter. And they beat whoever they beat in the ACC championship game. They still haven't played anybody. Okay. The best team on their schedule is Texas A&M. That's, yeah. I mean, because Boston College got beat by Florida State. NC State has got three losses. Um, but, like, it, what team doesn't have three losses at this point, right? <laughs> it's it, The only two Power 5 teams that have two losses are West Virginia and uh, LSU. And LSU will probably end with two, but, I mean, it, would it shock you if they lose to Texas A&M? No. Wouldn't shock me at all. Wouldn't shock me at all either. Um, so my scenario is is actually kind of simple. I think Washington State wins the Pac-12. I think Ohio State beats Michigan and then beats Northwestern. And Notre Dame, Clemson, Alabama all went out. So it's nothing too crazy. I think Oklahoma will end up losing to West Virginia or Texas or what they will lose a ball game because I think that defense is so bad that if any team can get stops at all on their offense, then they'll beat them. Um, and if they take a loss, then they are back out. So that's I've got UCF at six because I don't think that the the powers that be want them in there. But I mean, it would make for some serious ratings at least early. And I think that might be like it. So I think we've got number four. You've got UCF at four. And I've got Ohio State at four, and I think it's the same reasoning. Well, and it's it's the logic that we used earlier with Ohio State. I think that Ohio State beats Michigan at home. Okay. But I don't think that that's enough to to move Ohio to move State them all the way up. Top four. Well, then how does UCF move into the top four? Because they're undefeated. I've, I've got UCF at eight ranked immediately above them are Oklahoma and Washington State. And if both of those lose? Both of those get beat. Okay. Then I've got Georgia at five. If they lose to Alabama in the SEC championship game. Okay. Okay. I I look at it this way, and this is the conspiracy theorist that, that you turned me into. <laughs> Ohio State has got and, and after yesterday's win over Maryland it, with the last second thing and whatnot, the viewership on that was going to be insane. They will have five of the top 16 most viewed college football games of the season, Ohio State. The last however many years, whenever they, whenever they have two teams that are kind of right there for that fourth spot, Every single year, it has gone to the team that averaged more viewers throughout the college football season. You mean ratings matter? Chris and I have talked, and Chris is so mad about this all the time because I tell him, this is a TV show. Like, this was made for TV. It is not like an actual legitimate championship. It is a TV show. Follow the money. Yes. And the money, I think, would be Ohio State. Unless, however, unless you get UCF and Alabama, which has been build up and and it, it nobody has has thought it was even a remote possibility. But if that game were to happen, there would be a lot of people watching. Early. Yes, there would. Yes, there would. And and maybe more so than would watch Alabama and Ohio State, because I think everybody would see the same outcome for both games, like. Alabama would be expected to win both games by 20-some-odd points. But I think the country would be more interested in a a G5 team. They would be interested in watching a team that can play a little defense. Yeah, and UCF, 45th in the country, uh, yards per play defense. Ohio State, 85th in the country. (laughs) It's really ugly. It's so bad. And and UCF actually plays better offenses than Ohio State does. Yes. Like, that's what is so absurd about it. Like, it, Ohio State in the Big Ten is playing the slug it out, like, ground it out, all that good running game. And, and Maryland had 300-something yards rushing on them. Like, that is just absurd to me. I don't. It, so, since we have a couple of minutes... 
Did Tennessee dodge a bullet by not hiring Greg Schiano? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it, is this Greg Schiano's fault for this defense being this bad, or is it just the culture of the program itself? I think it's just the culture of the program itself. I, the one thing that you that you have to remember about Ohio State is that they've got as much talent on the defensive side of the ball as Alabama, as anybody else in the country. Yeah. It's a mental game, and they obviously are not there mentally. So, is that on the head coach for not getting them ready? Is that on the defensive coordinator for not teaching them properly? I, I, it may just be a combination of all of it. Yeah. Culture. <sighs> it's nuts. It's nuts. All right, so playoff prediction rundown. I've got four Ohio State, three Notre Dame, two Clemson, one Alabama. Who have you got? I'm at UCF four, Clemson three, Notre Dame two, Alabama one. I like it. I like it. So so we're going to see Clemson and Notre Dame play. I think so. I think that'll actually be a pretty good ball game. All right, that wraps up this week. I think they played last year. Clemson Notre Dame. Yeah. Did they? I think so. I think it was early in the year last year. No 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 it, it couldn't. Or was it two years ago? I think it was two years ago. And Clemson beat them. Close. Late. Yeah. It was, uh, was it the Deshaun Kaiser year? No, it was three years ago. It's yeah. been a long time. It's, I'm old. It's It's been a little while because I, I believe that was, man, let me think. Uh, that was the year that it was like a monsoon. Yeah, I think that was like 2015. That was that was <laughs> this is riveting radio, riveting YouTube, all that. But the wonderful thing about the internet is we can actually look up when they last played. Da, 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 da. Let's see, 2015. So and it was a close game. So October third, two thousand fifteen, Clemson won. I think twenty four to twenty two. Yep, twenty four twenty two. Right. Yep, Notre Dame was number six. Clemson was number twelve. This was before Clemson like had made the playoff and and went on this crazy run. So that will wrap up our college football week twelve playoff predictions. Head over to TunicaTravel dot com. Tunica Mississippi is the presenting sponsor of the show. They got six awesome sports books. Go over to the website, check them out. WinningCuresEverything.com has got all of our stuff. If you're on YouTube, hit subscribe, leave some comments, tell us what you think. What's your top four? Let us know. Dad will be back in for the rest of the week. We will have more videos up later on. We appreciate y'all guys being in here. <laughs>